are devices which enable the speed from a prime mover to be varied at will. They're invaluable for applications where machine speed must be adjusted to suit process variations and can be classified under three broad headings. Hydraulic, electrical and mechanical. The mechanical drives are the most simple and usually obtain speed variation by the converging and diverging action of two taper cones connected by a V-section belt. For example, a variable speed pulley controls the various motions on this machine which has considerably increased the rate at which seedlings can be transplanted, an extremely important feature in a greenhouse complex which has over one and a half million plants in various stages of growth at the same time. In the textile industry, the carding process uses wire brushes, or cards, to straighten fibres prior to the threads being formed. The revolving cylinders clothed with the cards are usually driven in groups of two or three, and the speed relationship between each group is of the greatest importance. It's controlled, in this case, with a variable speed pulley. This drive to a slapped conveyor is another compact design powered by a flange-mounted electric motor. It uses a positive adjustment variable pulley operated by the control mechanism in conjunction with an automatic variable pulley and a wide section V-belt. A more versatile transmission is the hydrostatic variable speed drive using mineral oil as the power transmitting medium. The mechanism comprises radial piston hydraulic pump and motor units housed in a compact, totally enclosed case. And the unit gives precise, accurate control of output speed, transmitting constant output torque throughout its full working speed range. It's capable of accelerating full rated loads from zero revolutions per minute up to required running speeds. Infinite speed variation is achieved by adjusting the external control mechanism which varies the amount of oil which is delivered by the constant speed input pump unit to the variable speed output motor unit. An F-type unit built into the head shaft drive of this horizontal paternoster conveyor gives complete control and enables the conveyor to be stopped or reversed at will without stopping the motor. The conveyor is used for the assembly of speedboat stern drives and the paternoster principle is employed so that the pallets always remain on the same plane. The driving unit to a textile mangle and drying range employs a hydrostatic drive with control linkage designed to automatically regulate the speed of the material and to compensate for process variation between the mangle and the dryer. Four units drive the extraction screws to the feeders in a cement work. Each employs a hydrostatic infinitely variable speed drive flange mounted to an inline reduction gear to regulate the weight of material being fed to each granulator pan. Power cylinder control is fitted, remotely operated from a central console. A system of flow production is also used in the manufacture of cattle food and variable speed drives are used to control the flow of meal to the pellet pressing machines. The process is continuous and fully automatic. In paper making, continual new developments and changes in demand enforce constant research and experimentation. And this miniature paper making machine has been developed for laboratory use. The main drive to the counter shaft is by a variable speed unit with electrical remote speed control from a main control point. 
From here, the operator can see the whole machine and adjust its speed according to the requirements of any particular experiment. The development of solid-state electronics has brought the thyristor, or silicon-controlled rectifier, into great prominence as the most versatile, reliable, compact and economic system for electrical variable speed drives, particularly up to the medium horsepower range. A typical example of the use of thyristor drives is on this fluid seal testing plant. Twelve testing heads are used, each comprising an oil reservoir surrounded by an electric heating mat and closed at the mouth by the seal to be tested. A dummy shaft is rotated at speeds infinitely variable up to 12,000 revs per minute in either direction and simulates in a few hours the wear encountered in the lifetime of a car. 12 thyristor units are used connected to an analog computer with logic control set by a program plug board. This enables the variable speed, stop, start and reverse functions to be performed automatically to any desired sequence whilst still retaining manual control. The Reynolds range of products is one of the most comprehensive offered to industry, and most transmission requirements can be met from stock. Our unequalled knowledge of power transmission engineering is available to customers through a network of service and distribution centers staffed by Reynolds trained engineers.